Hola, world travelers. Buenos dias. So we're just going to kick things right into gear today. We are having such an incredible time here in Puerto Morelos, but we wanted to try some of the nice local street food on the colonial side of oh, Puerto yeah. Morelos. We heard some really great things about some places, so we're just going to bump this into gear, go get some coffee, and our first stop is going to be a place that actually has a delicious slow roasted pork. Mm, that sounds, that good. sounds really good. <laughs> so I'm ready to do this. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. Let's go. So behind me here, really quick little information. Behind me here is pretty much an old lighthouse. Um, it's positioned this way for the fact that in 1967 when the hurricane, I'm not sure which one it was, but a hurricane hit them, it blew it off to the side and there you go. It's like a leaning tower of Puerto Morelos, like the leaning tower of Pisa. But the one directly behind it is the current lighthouse, which was probably erected sometime in the 80s. And this one here has become such a symbol for Puerto Morelos um, that you, you probably will notice it everywhere, like little uh, in the, some of the shops there, the t-shirts have them, things like that. But that is now the symbol of Puerto Morelos. It's almost like the leaning tower of Puerto Morelos. So this right here, just really quick, in addition to the lovely leaning tower of Puerto Morelos, is this here, which is kind of roped off. Dave and I, we believe that is the foundation that actually washed away, some of the foundation of that tower that washed away. And it's now here, kind of blocked off. Um, and I believe they blocked it off also because of the fact that there's like metal pieces sticking up around it that are obviously you can hurt someone. This is like a cart that's all wine. And you have multiple selections. You can have like a glass of wine. They give you the prices here for the wines for it per glass. So you can have a small glass, medium glass, or large glass. It looks like it ranges from 37 pesos all the way up to 150 pesos for a large glass. And it's a combination of white and red wines that are here. So on a day like today, Dave and I would certainly go for the white wines. But here, check this out. What's even more impressive is this right here. There is sushi in this store. This, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful option of sushi on a belt where you have all the different options from chicken to, oh my gosh, just about anything. They have yakisoba, spring rolls, udon, sopa miso, California rolls, and you just sit here, you place your order, and you pick up your sushi, which is quite impressive to have here in this lovely grocery store. What's really cool about coming to the Shijari on the beach side of Puerto Morelos is you can actually sit in here and enjoy some iced lattes. No problem whatsoever because on a day like today, wow, it's really hot. Yeah, and I will say this too, the air conditioning is awesome in here. You know, it's just super cold. And so it feels really oh good. Oh my God, it's really cold in here. So we made it right now, we're in this Parque de Colonia. It's a really pretty park, a lot of multiple colors. But our first stop of the day was the recommendation, we're gonna try this, it's a, I think, I think it's Cochinita Pibil, which is a nice pork dish, and I'm excited to try it. Right, so it's a classic Yucatan dish. And actually, uh, from a traditional standpoint, they would dig these pits and then slow roast them wrapped in banana peels inside the pits. So I'm not sure they do it here uh, in this way, but it's gonna be great. I'm, I'm excited, to it. I can already smell the uh, baby pork. Mm, delicious. <laughs> yes. Let's go try it. nice about this coming to the colonial side um, you're gonna order these lovely dishes here you get two of these nice size full of meat portions here and it's only 30 pesos 30 pesos for two which I do feel if you are on the other side oh, gracias. I do feel if you're on the other side of what the man on the beach side that is pretty much gonna be double so if you want to experience some nice authentic food slow 
pork here at the cochinita babil. I would definitely try it on the colonial side for sure. And I can't wait to bite into this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just grab this. So we are about to dig into these and I will say the energy over there was so much fun meeting some of the folks over there. The one woman over there who uh, slapped on these habaneros, she had like a sinister kind of laugh where yes. she just, you know, maybe she didn't know I knew that these were habaneros and that they're going to burn a hole in my throat. But um, I do know, we're definitely going to try a little bit of those. I may not, David may, but this looks amazing. Just look at that. Look, you get all of that meat. You get two shells in there. It's just wonderful. So Ruben, wherever you are, if that was you, this one's for you. Mm. Oh my God, David, that is, you're gonna love this taco. I mean, everything about it, including the pickled onions, just melts in your mouth. I haven't squeezed any lime on there, but everything about it is absolutely delicious. It just really melts in your mouth. The flavors are just perfect. There's nothing overbearing. That's really tasty. I'm excited for this. <laughs> Slow roasted pork. This is right up my alley. I'm totally psyched. Here we go. I'm gonna have one bite without the habanero, and then I gotta have a little bit of habanero just to really sweat for you guys. Oh boy. Here we go. Mmm, oh, that's so good. The pork tastes really good. You can just, um, the flavors are awesome. And then um, I love I love the pickled onion too. Just really good. It's not, it's not spicy, so I do wanna put a little habanero on it just to try it out, but this is good. Definitely thumbs up. So, you know, Dave is just really courageous and bold and he's gonna take one for the team. He's about to try a little tasty tidbit of a habanero pepper. Let's see what that looks like. Gringo and the habanero. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm a little afraid. A little bit Eat of a it. scary cat. Eat that. And we have nothing to drink. Oh, it'll get you. It's a habanero pepper. Is that habanero? That's not, I have not felt any heat yet. I think it's slow. Were they, were they like kidding with us? That's not spicy. At That's all? not spicy. At all? No. Not wow, we were tricked. I think we got tricked. He hasn't gotten to the seed part yet, but. I'm just being, oh no, uh oh. There I go, I'm in trouble. Yeah. I'm in trouble. It's a habanero. Okay, that's good, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, back to some pork. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh man, it gets a lot better. Good, I like it. Looks like we need to get a smoothie for you after this. Woo! Oh my god. So we're at our second spot here. Not too difficult to find, just kind of a straight shot down the Colonial Road here, which is a two-sided strip, strip. And it doesn't look like much, but we heard it has some of the, uh, some good food. Coctelaria El Picudo. Coctelaria El Picudo. Excellent seafood. Like here. There's a couple extra people behind me. Oh, I'm so sweaty. It's so, so hot. <laughs> it's hot. I ordered the uh, ceviche with shrimp. So I'm dying to try that because it's supposed to have some really great seafood. Yeah, and I got some shrimp wrapped in uh, with cheese and bacon. Oh my god. That sounds really good. That sounds really yeah. good. And it's but. nice. And of course, we ordered our agua. They got a fun with lemon. And they brought out these really nice giant size, like homemade tortilla. Yeah, and, um, nice beans, uh, exactly, frioles. Yeah. And it just looks really tasty. So we're excited to dive into this. It's kind of hot, but that's just what the manos get used to it. Exactly, it's a joy. <laughs> what we notice is that on here, you can get like a margarita on this side. It's only about uh, 100 pesos. Whereas a couple of restaurants on the other side of what the manos, towards the beach side, I think they're about 160 for the margaritas. So just a quick observation that things on this side, you get the food quality is amazing and the prices are really cheap. So I ordered Cameron Relleno, which is basically grilled shrimp. And I love, love grilled shrimp, but what makes it better is it's wrapped in bacon and cheese. You have grilled shrimp, bacon and cheese. I mean, just what can go wrong there? It's just, I gotta tell you, it smells awesome. So I'm totally psyched about biting into this. Uh, it was 200 pesos, so you get this whole dish for 200 pesos, which is really good. Well, it's gonna be awesome. Here we go. 
Oh wow. I'm definitely gonna have to try some of that. Wow. This is mine. <laughs> this is mine. What are you talking about? <laughs> but um, that was a really good taste of cheese. The, uh, the bacon is kind of mixed in the flavoring there. And of course the shrimp, it's just all so good. Love it. This is a great dish. Again, I ordered the shrimp ceviche, which just comes in this nice package of like tasty shrimp with onion and cilantro and lime juice. And it just looks so fresh and filling. And this dish here, the size is, this is the medium ceviche, wow. camarones. And it's about 280 pesos. So you get all of this ceviche for only 280 pesos. That is just simply amazing. Let's try those. And when I think about our ceviche in Lima, this looks almost twice the size. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's definitely twice the size. Good point. Let's try it. Oh, I guess that's good. That is so fresh. That is, the shrimp is so tasty. Oh, it's so, it doesn't have a fishy tinge to it at all. It's just incredibly tasty and fresh. It has the, the lime juice that's in there, the onions, the cilantro. Everything kind of mixed in, just really blends together. And it gives such a delicious flavor. It's so good. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. For 280 pesos, I'm very impressed. back there it's just I, I, what I find impressive is the fact that they can be back here where it's mucho caliente yes. <laughs> by what goes on back there to prepare the food that they put out here. All in this really small little section here of Puerto Morelos, it has some of the best seafood, so we definitely give this place high recommendations. We're going to uh, Puerto Morelos, just um, close to 30 pesos, see? Gracias. So what I will definitely tell you is this, there is not a shortage of taxi cabs here in Puerto Morelos. It's, you can find them anywhere. We were just walking down the street and David yelled out taxi and immediately yeah. one stop, like, like magic. Yeah, you're very observant. Very observant. You very, <laughs> very well. Something actually triggered in my mind that I wanted to let you guys know that I think that actually might be helpful for you guys if you're going to a restaurant here in Puerto Morelos. Um, what you might want to do is make sure you ask first. If you plan on paying with a credit card, ask if they accept credit card because it's important that you do that because some places don't accept credit card. They will only take cash. Now, they will also take dollars, but be mindful if they take dollars because you don't have enough Mexican pesos is that you are going to pay that conversion rate. So whatever that is, you might be paying a higher conversion rate just because you are paying the dollar. So just be mindful of that. And if you are going to pay with credit card, you want to ask about making sure that they accept credit card before you sit down and eat all that delicious food. All right. All right, we are off. So we are all freshened up, we changed, we're in our cab, and we're heading to a very special spot that our awesome cab driver recommended. He came back and picked us up, so looking a little more snazzier because we were a sweaty, hot mess from walking around earlier. We're excited to check out this place. It's supposed to have, again, it's on the colonial side, and it's supposed to have some of the best beef. So we had fish, we had pork today, and now we're gonna try some of the best beef. Yeah. <laughs> so already sounds the first good. First one was the palapita del medio. Palapita del medio. Palapita del medio, which palapita means medio. which means the, the hut in the middle. Yes. And then uh, los mezquites. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, type of wood. Oh yes. Oh mesquites. Mesquites. Yes. Yeah. Now 
It's Los de Osvaldo, which, which means like Osvaldo. Osvaldo. Credit card or just cash? No, just cash. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Like you were saying. Oh! So look, there's the best mixer right over there. One bar. Oh, yeah. So here we got the mango version. And it's chamoy. What you see around the top of this here is called the chamoy, which is a nice kind of chili with a spicy syrup. This will really add to that spice. What he did was in here, he's, he added some chili in there. He's got some of this here, which is the uh, tecate, a light beer that they just kind of rim on top. And he mixes that all in there with the tamarind. It just seems like a real nice, refreshing, spicy blend of amazingness. And I'm actually, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna actually, let's see here, we got. What do we got? Fruit. Let's try the passion fruit one. All right, let's Go for do that. it. Like, it's strong. It's not a straw. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a straw. No, it's not a straw. <laughs> okay. That is, thank you. That is wonderful. Yeah. That is super nice, spicy. Oh, yeah. This is the real Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> you ain't kidding after uh, this. I'm going to certainly feel good. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Dr. Feelgood. talk a little bit about this here it kind of looks really interesting it's got that corn tortilla uh, perfectly shaped like a bowl and then the cheese that's on top I love how it has like underneath all that is like the magic it's like unwrapping a present where you have the beef and the pork oh my gosh I'm just gonna try that I'm gonna dive into it with a little bit of the red sauce I think I just might actually make the work so you got to put some of these different like spices and things on there as well Unreal, so delicious. Every little bit from the sauce to the beef to the pork to the onion just really complements themselves. And I just have to say, it's just it was perfect. So I'm gonna jump into this little marinated pork taco, and it's, uh, it looks awesome. I put some of that nice fresh uh, green tomato sauce on, and some of the spicy red, uh, some little red onion here, corn tortilla. Here we go. Wow, this is really good, oh. Ben. What more can you ask for? A little Ramones going on in the back? <laughs> this is great. nice tortilla on the bottom with cheese it's almost like a sandwich so think of it as a sandwich you have the tortilla on the bottom the cheese on the top and all that delicious sweet in the middle it's only 25 pesos I mean you cannot go wrong with that but traditionally if you have just the say a taco with just the pork or the pork chop it's 15 pesos with the exception that the beef is 20 pesos so it's just really important to know and what about these amazing drinks right here Dave tell oh. Well, 15 pesos for these. Mm -hmm. you know, these are awesome. You know, great blend of all different fruit juices, a nice spiciness on the side, but no alcohol. No, no, you well, gotta go get your own alcohol. Yeah, 7 Eleven for alcohol. This is right, right down the street awesome. here. Oh, wait. Uh, there's no alcohol. We got beer and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> wait, the cans. People call him uh, Hans because Hans. he. Because he likes to touch. He touched the, 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 the bum of the girls. He <laughs> touched the bum of the girls. The girls are sitting right here. And he edge. gets away with it. And he's, he's like, <laughs> would, and the girls are like, oh. <laughs> so funny. Handsome little man here. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> That's funny. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Bye, bye bye. Oh, that was wonderful. That was great, yeah. So that was. Awesome. Awesome. That, that was, was so, good. so awesome. The food was absolutely amazing. So impressed by, you know, the locals over there. Was so just, good. It was so good. And all that food combined 
130 pesos. Exactly. It's 130 amazing. pesos for two, not one, two yeah. full bellies, and cocktails, and we're stuffed. Yeah. When you come exactly. to Puerto Morelos, ask for 286 because yeah. he will treat you right. Wow, so we are back right where it all started at our Airbnb. We're in our comfy clothes. We're about to just kind of enjoy uh, some of this amazing sounds of the ocean. But wow, what an incredible day we had. Just really kind of exploring some of the authentic, uh, I'm gonna say Peruvian food because we're just in Peru, <laughs> Peru, but our authentic food here on the colonial side of Puerto Morelos. And it was just Amazing. Yeah, I loved it. Just, it was so much fun and just great hanging out with some of the locals, learning about their businesses, their food. It was yeah. really good. It was it was amazing. And they just were so receptive to teaching us, yeah. you know, exactly what taste of the local side is all about. Right, so the we, kitchen tours and yes. talking about how everything's prepared and all that. It was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. So we do hope that you guys got a lot of information out of that. And as always, if you have some places here in Puerto Morelos that you suggest that we might like, Hmm. leave it in the comments below definitely. because we would definitely love to try those out when we are back before we let you go if you made it this far for those of you that are new here i'm tanya and i'm dave and we are turn it up world please be sure to hit that subscribe button make sure you scroll over hit that sim it looks like a bell so that you get a ping every time we post something new and exciting again thanks so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you on the road